So both Paula and I looked at each other and, and we realised, my goodness, we have forgotten about the word gossip. You know, we've forgotten, we've taken it for granted. We know what it means, but we really, doesn't, we really don't know how dangerous it can be. So we find ourselves going there when we are in a group, especially we ladies, we tend to, we tend to gossip. Small things, right, but it can get out of hand. Someone will exaggerate and exaggerate and it gets worse. So what, these are the things that you should never do. That, that's my motto. This, that's my, 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 um, concert, my um, what do you say? At New Year, you make your resolution. Don't gossip. Even the smallest thing, don't gossip. You know? Another very humble thing that is required, that is required of being a good Muslim, that is required of being a good Catholic, a good Christian, you know, and, and, and all the religions in Buddhism, even Confucius, and, and in Hinduism. And one, this one word is so easy, and yet the hardest thing to do is to be humble. It's, it's, you know, humble means, again, me, myself, and I, you know? So you see, all these things all relate to one another. To be humble means to lower ourselves. It's not so important to be known to... I feel I actually grew up this way. I, I come from a very humble home. So when sometimes when Tan Sri keeps talking about me, I feel like I'm shy, you know, enough, you know, I, I'm all right, I'm okay, I am what I am, you are what you are. So it's not about us. This program is not about us, this program is all about you. Tan Sri, I thank you, but really this program is all about all of you. And we need all of you to work together, because we have more than just educating and helping all these students that OUM is going to get. OUM is doing so well. I must admit, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I talk of OUM everywhere I go. And, and it's all because of you. And all of you together. Tansri alone couldn't have done this. None of you alone can do this. It's all of us. And we're doing very well. But we need to look out now. We need to go out now and help others who really, really need help. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, it's so easy. Actually, volunteerism is so easy. But it starts at home and it starts with your neighbours. And when your children know, they'll follow you. They will follow you and, and they will realise, my goodness, I've helped somebody. Oh my goodness, Papa, I didn't know that they, you know, this poor girl doesn't do this or the house is like this. There's a lot we can do. And when you plant a tree, they will be so proud they planted a tree. And believe me, when they're 16 years old, they will be even more proud because the tree is so tall. They will be. So it's these little, little things that lead to volunteerism. Good values. Teach your children good values. That's so important. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe, I believe that it is the power of love and care, nurtured with patience and understanding, that keeps a family closely bonded. A happy family is a successful family. And when we have achieved this, only then can we become good volunteers because we would have understood the meaning of compassion. That's what volunteerism is all about. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be with you.